Oh, there goes another match. Big about to happen here. Oh god! Oh! Hey guys, my name's Dan, and today's reaction comes from Nuke's Top 5. This is Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos to Make Yellow Pants. Now, I can definitely see why his last video was as short as it was. And again, I really do appreciate it because some of the longer ones can be a little bit more of a chore to watch. That felt a little bit more uh, digestible to me. And I definitely do appreciate the transition from brown pants to yellow pants because it definitely fits for the type of stuff that is in his videos. But uh, before we get into this one, if you enjoy other Nukes Top 5 videos, I've reacted to so many of them for you. And if you want to see future reactions that I do, you can go right below this video, click that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell because that one is the AC past, present, and future reactions that I do. But also helps with the YouTube algorithm, helps to get more eyes on my channel. Then go on over and support Nukes Top 5 if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. And without any further ado, let's go. The Ritual and the Wardrobe. Paolo and Debbie from the popular Italian YouTube channel Pit Paranormal Investigation Team attempt a ghost summoning in an old house. Allegedly, if done correctly, this ritual is said to summon any supernatural entity residing in a home. The summoning requires one person to sit inside a closed space like a wardrobe in the dark with nothing but a few matches for light. That if the awful. summoner hears anything abnormal, they light a match immediately and chant the sentence, quote, show me the light or leave me in eternal darkness. So somehow, Paolo convinces his girlfriend Debbie to attempt the strange ritual inside a small cramped wardrobe in the old house. Oh it did not go well. Oh boy. Paul. Oh. Credo che ci sia qualcosa qua nell'armadio con me. Eh, vuol dire che funziona. La prossima volta devo prendere dei fiammiferi un pochino più lunghi. Sei qua? Paolo? Oh. Mi sembra che stia grattando alla parete. Grattando? Te lo giuro, ho sentito... Tu ti rendi conto che io non sento niente di qua? Senti? No, ora lo sento, forse. Oh! Paolo, oh. sta grattando. Ok. Hai sempre fermi fra accesa. Eh, sto continuando ad accenderne, durano ah. pochissimo. Secondo te cosa vuole? Cosa farà? E questo non lo so, sono curioso. It's a very uncomfortable. Can I imagine how she feels? Oh, there goes another match. Big about to happen here. Oh god! Oh! 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 Say the thing! Say the thing! Oh! Ah, ok. Wow. Quindi, Paolo. cosa è successo? Ti allora, ho sentito urlare praticamente due volte. Allora, la prima volta mi sono spaventata perché mi ha alitato nell'orecchio. Ok. Ok? E ho sbattuto la mano dallo spavento. Guarda, mi sta venendo un livido. Oh. Guarda. Ma veramente, guarda che roba. Mi sta venendo un livido alla mano, raga. Eh, non lo vedono, guarda. Oh, cioè, oh, non sto scherzando, mi sono fatta veramente male. Cioè... Non lo vedete, ma... Sì, sì, sì. Oh qua. my god, yeah, I see it. Che mi sta... See, guardate. Here. Mi sono fatta Damn. malissimo. Veramente malissimo. E mi poi perché adesso hai urlato? Male. Perché mi sono sentita qualcosa che mi toccava la spalla. Che mi toccava la eh, spalla. Non riesco a riaprirlo perché... Mi toccava la spalla. 
E adesso? No, no, adesso va via. Ah. Cioè, almeno c'è scritto quello. Mi toccava la spa... What? What's wrong? È un profumo. Ah, ecco. Hai ragione. Io ho sentito una vampata di profumo, poi mi hai detto che erano i fiammiferi. Ma io ho sentito un profumo. Non l'avevo sentito prima. È un po' un profumo. Beh, comunque, no, 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 te lo giuro. Mi ha toccato la spalla, eh. Qualcosa mi ha toccato la spalla. E mi sono fatta male. Eh, dobbiamo mi andare a mettere del ghiaccio. Mi sono spaventata. Debbie starts to freak out and she feels like someone might be inside the wardrobe with her. Then suddenly a hand grabs her shoulder. In a panic, Debbie flees the small wardrobe and ends the summoning. So could it be that this cryptic ritual brought out a dark supernatural entity? Maybe. Let me know down in the comments. Oh, Run. Is. Japanese paranormal investigator Takuchi from the YouTube channel Takuchi Camera travels to the old abandoned Shiriwa village in Japan. The village is now a ghost town. It has been completely abandoned for over 28 years. Centuries old graves of former residents can be found hidden away between the decaying homes. Locals like to say that these days, the only residents of Shiriwa village are the dead. In the dark of night, Takuchi begins to hear unnerving sounds coming from all around him as he explores. He starts to get a little freaked out and decides to take out his thermal camera to get a better look at what could be hiding in the dark. What he sees shocks him to his core. What is that? Dude? Is that an animal, maybe? Watch. 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 Oh, that's cool. In his videos, he actually switches in between like what uh thing he's using to take uh like a picture or use a light or whatever, whatever like is uh part of his equipment. <laughs> The thermal camera captures a heat pattern that resembles a human shape. But when Takuchi looks around with his own naked eye, he can't see anyone. Suddenly, the figure charges toward Takuchi, and in a panic, the investigator runs for his life. And with this, Takuchi has had enough and just leaves. Fair. So could this be the angry spirit of a villager who passed away in the old abandoned Shiriwa village? Some kind of spirit. Let me sure. know what you think. You can watch this entire spooky investigation over on the YouTube channel Takuchi Camera.
If you found a great ghost video online or recorded one yourself, please send it my way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Slipping through the trees. A little while ago, I featured the creepy story of Lauren Combs, who over the course of a year captured multiple mysterious unexplained events in her home in Waco, Texas. Oh. Did you do that? <laughs> look like she did that? No. Uh, hello? Get the dogs confused. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, we, we've seen this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget which next top five video she was in, but we've definitely seen this. Oh, my God. Now, since these terrifying events, Lauren has installed a new security camera in her backyard. Because eerily, a lot of the strange activity at her home seems to take place in the wooded area just behind her house. So late one night, Lauren is hanging out and casually playing some Call of Duty with her roommate As when do. their dogs begin to totally freak out for no apparent reason. Oh, what pumps. happens next is all caught on camera. Yeah, they, they are... Yep, they're freaking out. You guys okay? Something's got them spooked. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> the dogs all seem freaked out by something that is going on outside the house. So Lauren checks her outside security cameras and sees something that chills her to her core. Wait, what did I just see? Oh my god! Is that a... It looks like a person, almost. Some sort of creeper back there? Holy crap! Okay, that's not cool. Just sort of running back and forth, not running all the way to the left there. Looks more shadowy than anything. Someone or something can be seen quickly pacing or maybe even running back and forth along the tree line in Lauren's backyard. Lauren has no idea who or what this could be and is extremely disturbed by the whole experience, especially after everything else that has happened in the past. Yeah. So just what do you think is going on here? And what is this? Supernatural? The Furious Phantom. These next creepy videos were recorded by a family in their home in Staffordshire, England. The father of the family, who goes only by the username Smug Puppy, explains that they've been experiencing chilling paranormal activity in their home for the last 25 years. But the supernatural encounters have never been as active and terrifying as they are now. One day, Smug Puppy and his daughter are casually hanging out in their home. His daughter is filming their cat, Lily, who is awkwardly sleeping on top of some cans and bottles. Aww. Suddenly, things take a terrifying turn. Look at her. Yep. Surely that isn't comfortable, so... Somehow it is. That's I'm computer. enjoying my donkeys, Dad. That's okay. Right on. <laughs> oh! Ow. Oh my god! Legit just got smacked! Damn! Jesus Christ! Smack the shit out of him! I can't believe I've just caught that on camera. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Is he, are you okay, sir? Oh, man. Are you okay? That's what I'm saying. No, not really. Something invisible seems to slap Smug Puppy hard across his face. In a later video, he explained that he had been angrily shouting at the entity earlier, upset about the intense recent supernatural activity. He suspects that he might have angered the paranormal presence and caused this bizarre attack. It's like this is my house. Cut to over one month later, and Smug Puppy sees something unusual out of the corner of his eye. 
He quickly grabs his phone and begins to record. Okay, guys, I'm filming this door because I keep seeing a shadow something go past. I keep hearing noises. Uh, hold on a sec. Kays, come here and bring your phone. What is happening? Just bear with me a sec. Sorry, guys. Just film me a sec because I keep seeing that shadow thing go past this door. Was that something? Something's moving that door. I want to prove there's nothing in there. Oh! Okay, that's that's not cool. That's hardcore, man. You got me? Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go back in the further because the rest of you guys are. I'm not moving. Uh, come here, film around the bed and everything. Make sure there's nothing in there. It's cool if we see both perspectives. Yeah. yeah. Okay, film me. Film the door. 100%. Bloody walking stick. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Nothing, just dressing gowns. A dark figure seems to dart back and forth in the doorway at a oh, super fast the... speed before yeah, slamming okay. the bedroom door shut. The door handle shakes uncontrollably, but once the father and daughter are finally able to get inside the bedroom, there's nothing there. Of course not. So could it be that this family home is haunted by a dangerous entity? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Not a clue, man. The flyby. This next video was recorded by pilot Cesar Murillo Perez, who was flying an Airbus A320 passenger jet at 29,000 feet in the sky above Medellin, Colombia. He suddenly spots something very unusual. He grabs his phone and starts to record. Oh, that! Oh my god, what is that? What the hell? An unknown dark round object can be seen flying above the clouds at 29,000 feet. The pilot says that he has no idea what this object could be, and the footage still remains a mystery. So, let me know your theories and ideas on just what this is. Thank you yeah, so much. My mind originally went to a Dragon Ball Z because that's how uh, the original saying characters got to planet Earth. But either way, as far as all of these were concerned, another nice dose of scary, all in different ways. Um, the, 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 that shaky door then was a little bizarre. Uh, the thing in the woods was absolutely insane. The 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 one where she was in the like the little cabinet thing or whatever, and that little hand reached out. That was freaky as well. And the one after that, too, I can't remember exactly what happened in it because my mind is kind of all over the place with this video. But everything was just, ooh, ooh. It just said chills up and down my spine, and they're all creepy in their own way. Some of them a little uh, similar to, to, the, to the ones before, but still just as good. But uh, that's going to do it for me here. And before I go, though, I want to give a huge shout-out to all of my $5 and up supporters on Patreon, Luchador Cruising, Wolverine 310, Multi Disturbed 666, Jordan Burr, Lauren Davenport, Kester Cronage, Amber K, Raymond Bright, Joshi, Chris Curtis, and Jeremiah McCarroll. And if you two looked at your name read at the end of each and every one of my videos, plus many other fun goodies, if you have me react to a Past Nukes Top 5 video or two, please head on over to patreon.com slash the damn reactor. Link will be right there. And it's description with many different tiers for you to choose from. And if you'd like to have an easier way to get in contact with me, maybe talk a little bit about Nukes Top 5 or about other scary videos, please head on over and join the channel Discord, chat with other, about other reactions that I've done, find out just a little bit more about me and about this week's reaction schedule. And with that being said, comment down below. Let me know which one of these scared you the most. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, want to see fast reaction. I've done other Nukes Top 5 videos. Got a nice playlist right over there for you. Share this video. Subscribe and subscribe already. For a notification bell because of my new videos every single day. And I'll see you guys next time.